हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल आई होप यू आर हेल्दी एंड सेफ एट योर होम सो आई एम बैक येट अगेन विद अनदर वीडियो ऑन द जावा स्क्रिप्ट कोडिंग इंटरव्यू सीरीज एंड टूडेज क्वेश्चन इज द मैक्स कैर प्रॉब्लम सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट फर्स्ट सो गिवन अ स्ट्रिंग वी नीड टू रिटर्न द कैरेक्टर दैट इज मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज इन द स्ट्रिंग सो इफ वी कंसिडर माई नेम दैट इज सलोनी श्रीवास्तव the max care of this string is a because a is occurring the maximum number of times that is four times in my name similarly for hello everyone it would be e so uh, there can be various variations to the same question like it could be asked in different ways to you in an interview setup so it can be either asked as what is the most common character of the string or it can be asked to you as does string a has the same number of characters as string b which is an anagram and the third variation could be does the given string has any repeated characters in it so the variations of this max car problem has been asked in morgan stanley amazon and microsoft so we can say that it is a very important question for us to understand so let us consider my name and check which character is occurring how many number of times to understand this problem in a better way so first is s then we have a then we have l o n and i so s is occurring again so we can add a plus 1 then we have r then i is occurring so we can add a plus 1 to i v for a we can add a plus 1 here again for s t then for a one for v and the last one for a now let's see how many times each of the unique characters are occurring here so s has occurred 3 times a has occurred 4 times l one time o one n one r for two times i one v two times and t for one so this complete set this can be called as a char map because we are mapping each character to the number of occurrence of that character and the max care from this care map would be a as it is occurring the maximum number of times in this given string so the trick here to get the solution is that we have to take the string and we need to convert it to an object now based on the object's key value pair the care map will be created which would be the soul of our solution now let's see how we will be creating the char map so let's first define a constant that is string and here we'll have our string from which we want to find the maximum character we will have another constant known as cars which would be an empty object now for each character of the string we will check if the cars object has any key or not if the key is not available in the car object then we will be adding a value 1 to the key if it is available then we will be incrementing that value with 1 so here we are checking if the cars of c means the key exists or not or if the key has some value or not if it does not exist then we will be assigning a value 1 to it else we will be incrementing the value by 1 
Now let's use our online editor to test our can map part of the code. So if we run it here, we'll get all the characters with the number of times they are occurring as a key value pair. And they are part of an object. So the first one is the space that is between my name and title. So it is also being considered. Then we have all the characters as expected. But there is definitely two problems which we can clearly see here. The first is S is occurring as 2 and 1. That is because one S is a upper character S and the other one is a small character. So we need to make sure that the upper and lower case are counted as one. So we need to do a case conversion for that. And the second is that the spa spaces and special character should be removed as per the requirement. So if it is required to remove, we can remove it or we can keep it as it is. Now let's start by defining a function max char and to the parameter we will be passing the string from which we want to find the max char. We will be defining a const char map which would be of object type and initially it would be an empty object. Then we will be having a max which will count each character's maximum number of occurrence. Then we will be having a max char which will be an empty string for now and it will contain the maximum character. So let's start with defining a for loop. We will loop through each character of the string and we will check if the character has a value in the char map or not. If the character has a value in the char map object, then we will be incrementing its value by one or else we will be assigning a value of one to it. So this was our char map Thing which we did earlier as a practice so as always let's divide our solution into steps so first step would be declaring the necessary variables Step 2 would be building the char map and let's move towards our final step that is the step 3 to find out which character is occurring the maximum number of times. So for step 3 we will again loop through each characters but this time from the char map object and not from the original string. Then we will check if the char, char map at char is greater than max that is the value of character at the particular char is greater than max value then we will be assigning the char map char value to max. Or we can say that we will be assigning the value of that char to max and our max char would be the character from which we are getting the value. Finally, we will be returning the max char. Now in order to check our result in the console, we will be calling the maxcar function with a string and we will assign this value to a variable called result and then we can do a console log of this result to check the maximum character of our string and we get a which is correct. So we have finally reached the solution to our question but there are still two issues that is the case conversion and the spaces and special characters removal. 
so this i would ask you to take as a take home exercise and you can try solving the same question with the below conditions as well and in the next video i will solve the same question i will solve a variation to the same question with the below conditions so that's it for today's video i hope this concept might help you further in your upcoming interviews for more such videos and problem solving statements on javascript subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next one thank you